just short introduction about hosting in Tajikistan. First of all, I would like to introduce this country. It's awesome. For example, if you take a car, you, by the way, there are no car rentals. You can rent a car only from private person. So when you rent a car and you drive, for example, you overspeed 100 kilometers. So policeman stops you and asks, please provide your documents. Ah, you are a tourist, you can go. They stopped me five times, five times. And they never asked for penalty. They said, ah, tourist, you can go. Other thing as, as well, for example, they, they provide window teams. So these dark windows cost the 500 bucks annually. It's crazy, but you look cool. Other thing, you, uh, they never use belts. They said, I, I'm, not, I'm not very greedy. I can pay one euro to the policeman. So everybody, and every, policeman asks, asks, are you so greedy to pay one euro to me? So nobody use belts in taxi, nobody everywhere, only outside cities. Good internet connection is a key of every country. But in Tajikistan, they have really big problems. The cable go from China, but China filter traffic, so they don't use China traffic. So they buy traffic from Kyrgyz, that buy from Kazakhstan, that buy from Russia, or they use Uzbekistan, they buy from Kazakhstan, they buy, then buy from Russia. They are unable to buy internet from Afghanistan. And the real true internet is very bad there. And everything that related with the internet is very bad there. So they have only about 10 or 15,000 domains till this. And uh, there are only one, two hosting companies there and about 10 very tiny hosting companies that ever do not have offices and about three, five telecoms that provide hosting services. But of course they have, I don't know, about 1K domains. So they're really very tiny. And everybody dreams about good internet connection as uh, as telcos can sell you 10 or 5 or 25 gigs, but you're unable to use these gigs as internet connection is very low. You're ever unable to talk Skype very often. So you start talking Skype and uh, when one cable, for example, through Kyrgyzstan is overkept, they switch to other cables and all messengers stop working. So registrars need to buy uh, domains from registry in dollars, but they need to sell to end customers only in some monies, in local currency. Government forbids them to sell in dollars, but government directly sells in dollars. So it's very cool economics. Other things, uh, there are about 30,000 joint stock companies and about 150,000 small businesses. It means that markets are undeveloped and uh, it will be it should grow and internet connection will be better and and economic growth. I think that could be about three to five hundred thousand domains there in about seven years. Hosting costs, they are very cheap, could be one, two, three euros. And uh, I think that price is affordable. The only one problem that uh, it includes five or hundred or two hundred megabytes. So it's like, it's the way how everybody was in my, maybe 10 years ago when they need to pay for the traffic. Other thing is about uh, payment, payment gateways and uh, they don't accept MasterCard there as every country, every country use Visa and MasterCard. Every, I don't know, in Cuba you can pay with, this, with that cards. There MasterCard is forbidden, you can pay only for Visa. So it's also in, in the internet. Okay, people can also pay with bank transfers or cash and uh, also new method is coming, QR code. And it's like association of telecoms and big providers. They provide uh, a new QR code that allow you to use one standard everywhere. Typically support is in business hours and typically they provide support in local language. Sometimes people write in Russian but it's about only, only about 10, 20, 30 percent. So it's post Soviet country, but probably most of support tickets are not in Russian. And uh, when you say hi or goodbye to everybody there, they put a hand to a heart and said goodbye, mister. 
and this hand and the heart it means that they say it's goodbye or hello from the heart and it's very good tradition so thank you for your time goodbye guys